This week, we'll have an exclusive interview with Vice Presidential nominee, Jeremy Spy Cohen, who's Joe Jorgensen's running mate for the Libertarian Party. Hi, GHS. Did you know that there are more than two people running for president this year? In fact, as of right now, there are 13 presidential nominees to choose from on the Arkansas ballot. Today, we will begin a series of interviews with representatives from these presidential campaigns so that we learn a little more about these lesser-known nominees and their political parties. Dr. Joe Jorgensen is the presidential nominee for the Libertarian Party, and Jeremy Spike Cohen is her running mate. I interviewed Mr. Cohen last week, and he was kind enough to share a little bit about Dr. Jorgensen and the Libertarian Party. Hello, Spike. How are you? I'm doing great, Ty. How are you doing? I'm great. Thanks for asking. So, one of my <laughs> biggest questions is what separates the Libertarian Party, but more specifically, you and Joe, from the Republican Party? When it comes down to it, it doesn't matter which Republican you vote into office. It doesn't matter if Joe Biden or Donald Trump get elected uh, president. You're going to get the same thing. You're going to get more taxes. You're going to get more war. You're going to get more laws and more impositions on your day-to-day -day life. You're going to get uh, an increasing cost of living. Uh, you're going to get higher and higher costs to health care and higher education and housing and everything else. And, uh, and you're going to get stuck with the bill for all of that. And the politically connected billionaire cronies who bought and paid for the Republicans to be in office will continue to get wealthier at your expense. So you say Republicrat. Can you elaborate why you say Republicrat? I'm, I'm demonstrating, A, it's short term, it's easier than saying Republicans and Democrats, uh, mm -hmm. but also because it's to demonstrate that there's very little difference between them. So healthcare is a major issue in the United States. What will Joe do as president to lower the skyrocketing healthcare costs? Well, so there was a recent study that was done that showed that uh, se uh, roughly 75% of the cost of healthcare was the cost of uh, compliance with various uh, federal uh, regulations and mandates and taxes related to uh, Medicare, Medicaid, and government mandated insurance. Now, let's be clear, that's not the cost of providing those services. That is the cost of showing compliance with those various regulations. When you go to a doctor, you don't see the thousands of people standing between you and that doctor, but there are thousands of people in between you and that doctor, and all of them have to be paid. That is why the costs are going out of control. And that, for that matter, that's why the doctors themselves can't even tell you what the price is for what they're going to do, because they don't know until they run it through this ridiculous system of, of red tape to find out what the price is. All of that drives up the cost of health care. Uh, Joe Jorgensen will get rid of those absurd regulatory burdens, those absurd taxes, those absurd mandates as well as the ridiculous patent protections, certificate of need laws and everything else that net unnecessarily drives up the cost of healthcare for no other reason than to make cronies, crony billionaires even wealthier than they are now. So one of my biggest concerns is the Department of Education. I checked Joe's website to exactly. see plans. She says she wants to return control to the teachers, parents and students. Will you explain how she plans on doing that? Uh, the Department of Education was created back in the 70s. Uh, in, in response to the fact that the uh, literacy rate was continuing to drop in the U.S. and the student to teacher ratio was continuing to go up. That department has existed for over 40 years now. They've spent nearly $2 trillion and the literacy rate has continued to drop and the student to teacher ratio has continued to go up. What's also increasingly happened is that students are not uh, comp do not come out of schools competitive and able to work in the new jobs that there is actual demand for. More and more people are having to go to get higher education because their basic educational needs are not being met in high school. And the reason for that is because thanks to federal involvement, uh, increasingly students aren't being taught how to live in the world and how to have marketable skills. They're just being taught how to pass tests. Um, and so our proposal is to end the Department of Education and take all of that money and give it back to the communities, give it back to the people, give it back to the school districts so they can decide what their schools need. Climate change is a growing issue with young people. What will you and Joe do to slow climate change? 
So the libertarian solution is simple. Get the government out of it. Let you sue people when they do damage, including large polluting companies. And when that happens, these large polluting companies will now know that if they continue to do this damage, they can get sued out of existence. And because they know that, because they don't want to get sued out of existence, they'll regulate themselves. Not because they're suddenly going to be such great, you know, great angelic people, but because they don't want to get sued and lose everything. And when they're the ones in charge of making sure that they actually don't cause damage, they'll come up with far better ways to self-regulate than would have ever come from government. And those will be more innovative and those will be cleaner. So it will be happen naturally as the result of them not wanting to get sued. That's our solution. COVID-19 is a global pandemic. How will Joe handle COVID-19? We would get the government out of the way. Medical professionals know how to do their job. Government clearly does not how to do their job. Uh, government does not ever treat anyone, does not test anyone, does not diagnose anyone. All they do is make it harder for the people whose job it is to do those things to be able to do their job. We want to get government out of the way so that your medical professionals can test you and treat you as they determine is needed. Protests are happening all over the United States due to racial injustice. If elected, what is Joe's plan to soothe the protests? Uh, so what we're seeing, these protests in the streets are people saying, we are sick of being treated this way and we want justice. And the, part of the reason they're protesting is because they don't feel like they have any other avenue uh, to be able, to, to, be able to, to change anything other than just taking it to the streets and demanding changes. Uh, we in the Libertarian Party believe that the most effective way to change this is to actually change those policies and end them. And policies like civil asset forfeiture, where the government can steal from you. Today, please bring either your laptop or your phone, something you can fill out a Google form with. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> yes, please don't don't forget don't forget to be able to fill out the Google form. Um, <laughs> Uh, we need to end uh, no-knock raids. We need to end the war on drugs. We need to end mandatory minimum sentencing. We need to end uh, uh, the military surplus program where the government gives military surplus military equipment like tanks and armed drones to police departments. Uh, and then uh, part of another aspect of these protests is that while these protests are happening uh, and while police departments are occupied dealing with the protesters, you have other people who are deciding to take that as an opportunity to riot and loot and, uh, and you know, burn down people's homes and do damage to small businesses and things like that. The way to deal with that is the government has demonstrated that they won't protect you. When push comes to shove, you're on your own. They're busy dealing with protesters. They're not going to come and protect you. We need to end the war on guns. You need to be able to own whatever firearm you wish to protect you and your loved ones and your property so that when someone comes and wants to burn down your home or, sh or, or smash up and loot your business, you have an ability to protect yourself. And the fact that you and those around you will be able to protect yourself protect yourselves will act as a very powerful deterrent against anyone who would have wanted to do that to you. All right. Uh, so Joe says she wants to make the United States one giant Switzerland. Can you elaborate? Absolutely. So uh, Switzerland has not been at war since it was founded. Keep in mind, Switzerland is in the middle of Europe. They are surrounded by much more powerful, much bigger uh, countries with much larger militaries. They are in a strategically important area up in the mountains in, in, in Europe, and yet they have not been invaded or attacked one single time, and here's why. Because they have minded their own business. They have not picked sides. They have stayed neutral, and they have let everyone know, we don't want to fight you. We only want to have trade and good relations with you. We believe that the best way to have peace and safety in our communities and in our country is to bring the troops home, end the fighting, allow the healing to begin, and let the rest of the world know that, and also to end the war on guns here so that people, uh, the American people can own whatever weapon they want to, to be able to protect themselves and their communities, and if need be, their country, and then let the less, rest of the world know, hey, listen, we don't want anything. Don't start anything with us. There won't be anything with us. We want trade. We want good relations. And the only way that there will be any fighting uh, is if you try to come here and start anything with us. All right. Um, so what would you tell someone who said, I like JoJo? But a libertarian can never win, so I guess I won't vote. That is a great way to continue getting bad policies. That is a great way to continue getting bad politicians. Uh, we are told that liber a vote for a libertarian is a vote wasted, a wasted vote. A wasted vote is to continue voting for the politicians and the parties who created the mess that we are in. 
the hashtag let her speak movement is happening all over the United States from social media to people holding signs like here locally we had a hashtag let her speak movement in Fayetteville Arkansas they were holding signs mm -hmm. um, the whole point yeah. is for them to let her speak at the presidential debates what can people like me mm -hmm. do to let her speak every person that that knows about Joe Jorgensen and knows about the Libertarian Party and has decided that we are the best way forward and to, and to vote Libertarian. If they went out and, and talked to everyone around them, not in an in-your-face way, but just in an engaging and dynamic way and explaining how our policies work and how the Republicrats have created the mess that we're in and how we do have another choice, not just for a third party, but for a different way of looking at things our numbers would explode and they wouldn't be able to ignore us and we would easily be able to qualify for the debate stage with whatever poli with, with whatever restrictions they put in place and we'd get elected whether or not they even allowed us on the debate stage um so the most important thing that we can do is let people know and to and to listen to their concerns and meet them where they are and validate what their concerns are and then explain how libertarian policies will will fix those concerns that they're dealing with all right well thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to answer my questions of course, Ty, and thank you so much for having me on. And I had a great conversation with you on, on Instagram, and I, I really appreciate the time to talk with you and, uh, and the students at your high school. Do not forget to bring something that you can fill out a Google form with when you go to class. <laughs> I, heard, I heard it. Yeah, hopefully you heard it too. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Have a great day. You too. Bye.